Hello everyone, it's Homestar92 and welcome to more Let's Play Link's Awakening. I need to turn down the volume of my headphones once again. This seems to be the beginning of every video, doesn't it? In the last part, we got to this little mini-dungeon right here. And in this part... I get a piece of power! That's pretty cool. I think the piece of power is a subtle reference to the Triforce. Well, that was cool, I got another gold leaf. That, if you recall our la from our last part, where we got the first one, that makes two. So. As you can probably figure out, a piece of power makes pretty much anything die almost immediately. But that's beside the point. Anyway, we just opened the castle gate, which brings us here to the second floor. From which we can't do much yet. Until we walk in here. At which point I can whip out the old power bracelet here. And... Oh yeah, I remember. That's the solution. Alright. A room where the shield is actually handy. Just use your shield. He's not too bad difficult. But I'm going to fall into a hole as soon as this dialogue is over. But that's okay, because I got what I needed. So that makes three. There's two left. One of them I know you have to dig for. And, to be quite honest, I don't know where the other one is. So it's going to be an interesting day. But we need to go back down. Which requires us to loop around like so. You know. Just all the stuff that you're already used to. Hey! I just came to a realization. There's an anti-fairy in here. Okay, those aren't anti-fairies. Which makes me wonder what anti-fairies look like. Is that an anti-fairy? I don't know. Also, I don't think I have the right weapon to kill them, to be honest. More on that later. I think this is the screen that you have to dig in. So I'm digging a hole, digging a hole. Anyway. Fortunately, this screen doesn't have too many tiles, and, you know, even if I'm wrong, it won't take me long to come to that realization. Plus, I'm gaining valuable supplies in the process. However, I'm beginning to have a feeling that my hunch was incorrect. Very, very, very incorrect. Now, why would I need to lift these? That makes me think that I was one square off. Yes, I am going to do this to you. This is what you get for, you know... On the one hand, people like blind runs because they're more genuine. On the other hand, you have to put up with crap like this. Me having no idea where to go and improvising. Which I'll be 100% honest, I am totally improvising right now. I remember having to dig. That much I know. Just die. Um... I already got one on this screen. Oopsie, I got hit, but it's okay. Um, are there any to the perimeter? You know, I believe over there is something I can use. If I remember correctly, that is. Which may not be the case. But let's go around here and take a look at what is around us. Obviously, I can't swim yet. 
Yeah, I should have done my research before going at this. Sorry, everyone. Not there. Here we go. Hint man. Bring, bring. Hello. Ask me anything. Okay. Really? That's all you have to say? You haven't found the five golden leaves? Try bombing suspicious places. Hope that helps. That does help. That indicates to me that there is a place I need to bomb. Ah. Uh. Haha, <laughs> I avoided getting hit. I think I know what he's getting at, though. So, bomb suspicious places, eh? Okay. I can do that. First off, I know that bomb doors are always on upward-facing walls. And there's probably one in here. Really, that's not a bomb point. Are you a bomb point? Nope. I think there is one in here, though. Ah. Well, that's clearly not. You know what? It's one of these guys. Or not. Oh. Clever. Okay, golden leaf number four. Number five involves digging. I know that. So let's go work on getting number five. I'll ask Olryra what he has to say. Why? Because I can't play the game the right way, because I am a pansy. So yeah, we will ask Olryra what his opinions on the matter are. And are there any screens I haven't been to? Nope. Can't go there, obviously. Yeah, doing the moonwalk. Aw, oh, yeah. Okay, so going north one leaves me at a dead end. That much I know. You haven't found the five golden leaves? Try bombing suspicious places. Okay. So he's not going to change his hint. That is quite a bummer. To say the least. As I've said, darn, I could have used those. As I've said, I remember it has to do with digging. And as much as I don't want to, if it comes down to it, I will dig this place clean. It doesn't really take long to dig out a whole screen, though. So... You know, I'm just gonna go at it. Nothing there. There's not gonna be anything here. I don't want to keep digging. Okay, you know what? I have an idea. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Remember all that senseless digging I've been doing? Yeah, it's pointless. I know how to do this now. It's actually quite simple. First off, you die. And I should have figured these rocks were here for a reason, and that the crow wasn't moving for a reason. And because he went out of screen when he died, I don't get it. Marvelous. And gold leaf numero cinco. Now go and see Richard about that key. Alright, little Richard. Wait, little Richard is a singer. You're just Richard. I know, I know, I'm really lame. Yeah, I get I know. Anyway. Where was Richard? Okay, down there. 
I can do I can do that. Except um thanks to a hint from my good buddy Odin's back 33, I know that I can do this. Which gets me easier passage around. Effectively a shortcut. That wasn't what I wanted at all. Really? Nothing trade sequence related? At all? Okay. Thought for sure that was the next step, but I guess not. I don't know if it's necessary to go around in such a roundabout way, but that's what I'm choosing to do because it, see, it makes the most sense to me. So... I don't know. We'll find out. Here's Richard's villa. Let's go inside. Okay, Richard. Ah, très bien. I see you have recovered all of the leaves. Now move this box and you will find your reward. Thank you. Dunna, dunna, na, 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 dunna. I, I don't know why I'm singing, actually. Alright, we'll have to come back for that chest later. Nothing we can do with that just yet, but soon. Very soon. Oh, I forgot. This is the mazy part. Yeah, this is base more or less a giant maze. And you navigate this maze by cutting down bushes. And, you know, not falling into holes. Which is not a horribly difficult task. And soil sleeps secrets beneath your souls. Which means, dig a hole right here. And you will get the slime key, and we can open the gate in Ukuku Prairie. No! Don't drop me, no! Ah! And yeah, now the biggest thing is finding your way back. Which can take some doing. Because it's kind of a long, drawn-out path. No. Don't fall, Link. Falling is bad, okay? Now, we just need to go up here. And, no, up here. And then we can go back around and everything will be all happy and good and hooray. But... This puts us in Richard's Villa. Now I'm kind of wondering, and I could just be completely overlooking the obvious here, but I kind of tend to wonder, is this... Level 3, Key Cavern. Now we just have to find a way over there. And that's gonna be the part that's difficult. My thought process is, get up there. However, that said, I don't know how to get up there. Does this actually take me anywhere? No, not until you unlock another one. Until you unlock the second one, it more or less just kind of loops around. So, not much you can do there. So basically, you know, at this point... I'm just trying to find my way into the dungeon, and I'd like to do that before the part ends, if I can. I'm not sure how able to do that I will be. It looks like this is probably the way. Just jumping across these little things. And that's the way into the dungeon, but just because I would like to get the map cleared off. And because I'm very, very convinced that there's something under here. And I'm very, very correct in that assumption. So there you go. Secret seashell location. Alrighty. Now, we're gonna go on in here. And here we are. 
the Key Cavern, which has some pretty awesome music. But I think we're going to start tackling this dungeon in the next part, so until then, I'm Homestar92, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.